Hi, let's try with Clearly Homemade. And this is Friday Night Impromptu, where I create and chat with you. Now I'm getting my phone set up to share the video. And then we're going to get started in less than a minute. I'm very excited. Um, I saw something on Pinterest. It was adorable. I'm like, I got to do that. Go ahead and get the video shared. And then tomorrow we have another video at five and tomorrow's video. Let's see if I need to share another one. Um, and then tomorrow's video is going to be really neat. I'm going to do another clay on mug, but this time I'm going to be doing it based off of a lantern that I did. So if you know the lantern, then you will see that. And for some reason, I can't find the rope. Oh, what a day, what a day. It's not what I wanted to do. This app is just ridiculous sometimes. I actually have to look for my group now. It's nuts. There it is. Wonderful. Okay, let me get this set up. And then we are right on time. It's going to be awesome. And let me share this. Um, okay, great. Put this up. Okay. Share the video. Oh my goodness. I don't hear myself talk. Wonderful. Ah, so much of a mess. So much of a mess. I had to take my ring off, which is right here, because it gets caught in the clay. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I totally made something really awesome with foil. And they are laminated, and they can be hung outside. So welcome and hello. I think they are just wonderful. i got to get good pictures of this. Made that earlier today. I found it. Okay, so we're making tea bag holders. I'm going to use this cup because it's very pretty. With tea bag holders, the idea is you want something to hang on the side, wrap your tea bag in, or, or what have you. You can do anything you want. Um, I've seen people sitting down look like they're fishing. Um, I saw bears and cats and dogs and stuff. We're going to do something a little different. I am a fan of the show Doctor Who. And I love them. I love the show. I've loved every doctor. Uh, to a point, you know, I mean, everybody always has their favorite doctor. If you follow, mine is David Tennant. My favorite companion is Donna Noble. I love them. Now, in one episode of Doctor Who, there were adipose. And adipose, in this particular instance, is little sentient globs of fat. And somebody had like a necklace on, and then the adipose would jump out of the people's bodies and would just would go because they're apparently they're baby aliens which i thought was pretty neat now adipose look like little marshmallows kind of like this and they're very 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 cute for little blobs of fat i mean honestly if all of our blobs of fat could be that cute it'd be amazing right okay so they're white in color they have a chunky body like they look like a marshmallow kind of a rounded head make sure we're gonna get this i wanted to do um so i just happen to have a blue mug now the tardis which is the essentially the spaceship of dr who it's a dark blue color my kitchen as many of you know is going to be dr who themed so it's a lot of dark blue a lot of you know silver and stuff like that and i already have some dalek stuff up so we're going to put some adipose. Now, the neat thing about this is I'm only using the mug so I can get a good idea on how I'm going to want the curve to hang off of the mug. Now, with something like this, um, a good idea would be to use probably like a thicker mug. So you have a wider variety of mugs or teacups that your little tea bagger holder, tea bag holder, could uh, hang on to. Because if you make it too thin, you can't fit on all of them. And then you're like, oh my goodness, half my mugs I can't use. Now this is for, um, I mean, you can use this if you have the, the metal loose leaf tea one. You can use this if you do like the bag tea or whatever you want to do. Which is pretty neat. Now with something like this, I'm not going to want to paint it or anything. Um, also, as we know from when I do most of my clay stuff, you do about an inch from the top. So ideally with something like this is you're going to want to have it... Um, We'll see. It depends on how much you pour in. Okay, so I have seen that they measure it, then they put the hands in, and the hands go in just a little bit. You know, so I would say a quarter inch to half an inch is what you want to do. 
Uh, just to let you know, um, it was up to 96 today. It is still very, very warm in my craft room. It is currently 90 degrees outside. Um, Hurricane Dorian did nothing. Um, and it actually it brought a lot of hot weather, which is really horrible. But it's much better than what could have happened. If you've read some of the stories that have been coming out of the Bahamas, it's, it's quite awful. And what they have gone through. Okay. My heart goes out to them. And I wish I could help. But alas, I am broke. So I hope whoever is able to help, they're able to help a lot. I'm pretty sure I saw a story about some guy buying like 20 generators and stuff to send it out, which is incredible. He definitely needs somebody out there to help him you know, rebuild the houses because it's, it's gone. Really gone. Okay. So this is not going to be a keeper because the clay is not... The clay, this is scrap. This is dirty scrap clay. That's fine. We're going to sort with it. So we're going to build our little adipose. Uh, they have two hands, two feet, or two legs and two feet. They're very squat. They're adorable little marshmallows. Actually, you know what? If you wanted to, you could actually make these into toasted marshmallows. That might be, I'm pretty sure this is not going to take me half an hour to make one. Although knowing how my life is and how it has been lately, uh, it probably will. Oh, and it's nothing, it's nothing terribly serious. Um, it's not one thing, it's another, right? We, uh, we lost water. Our, uh, our pump stopped working. That was horrible. And then we go to find out that it floods back there. Well, we, I think we knew it flooded back by where the pump is because it's at the end of the backyard. All the ants, fire ants, needed higher ground. And the higher ground just happened to be in the electric box of the pump. Thankfully, we were able to get rid of the ants and my husband was able to fix the pump. So I just wanted to know that as much as I complain about my husband, he is the best of the best of the best. Ooh, ah. I said that wrong. I apologize. I am not a Marine. I am not in the military. I am not allowed to be in either. I had open heart surgery in 1990. Apparently it was enough. Oh, and I, I have a mental illness. So I am not allowed to enlist. Good times. I tried. I tried to be in the Navy. I did pretty well in the pre asphalt too. And they heard that and they're like, no. I'm pretty sure that the feet. We're going to want to be able to have this little tea bag holder stand up on its own. I want to just plop in there goes, oh, and we're having tacos for dinner. I'm so excited. And I think next week, if I'm correct, next week, let's see this. Let me watch this. <gasps> Look at that. Look at those feet. You know what? I'm actually just might make them for myself. I do enjoy a cup of tea every once in a while. Like that. This is so cute. Look at that. Wah. Okay, so the adipose episode was during the time of David Tennant and Donna Noble. So my favorite doctor and companion. And it's probably one of my favorite episodes because they are sentient globs of fat. The neat thing about having a fandom is you usually know a lot about your fandom. And you can play with items of your fandom, especially if you're making them. I did make an adipose wine glass um, when I first started doing this, like two years ago. Maybe last, no, not last year, maybe year before that. I don't remember. It was a while ago. And I used air dry clay, which by the way is awful. I will never use it again. And when I did it, I had three little adipose. Um, this is before I knew about cornstarch, so they browned a bit. And um, one had a fez. Um, the doctor after Tenet wears a fez, and I am completely don't remember his name. Mike uh, Matt Smith. That's who the doctor is. That's who plays the doctor, and he was in Pride and Prejudice. I'm uh I'm okay with him. He's definitely not my favorite. Before that was Christopher Eccleston. So Tenet's number ten. Uh, Matt Smith is number eleven. Peter Capaldi is number twelve, and uh, Jody Fisher, I think. Is number 13. I haven't watched it yet. We uh, haven't gotten our things set up. Anyway, so what I what I did when I did the glass is um, there was an episode where David Tennant was wearing a pair of 3D glasses. Now, for those of us who are old, <laughs> I'm going to be 40 next year, so I'm in the old part. 
um, 3D glasses um, back when we were kids. They had books that had red and blue lines, and you had to wear glasses that one lens was red and one lens was blue, and the colors went together, and you were able to see it as if it was a 3D picture. So I can actually put that on here, and then Matt Smith wore a fez, a red fez, so I can put a red fez on it, but we can see that he stands on his own. So ideally, you would take it, and you would want to see how he wants to stand up on it. So we're going to make a little line here. It's very soft clay in my room. Um, and then we're going to have them hang out and we're going to add whatever we want afterwards. So let's go ahead and get some arms. I love Adam. And it's actually 15 minutes already. 15? 10. I can't count. Okay, so we want to, the idea is you want to have the hands hook. You can see that so it's hooked over like that. I love this camera. Because you want it to hook over a little bit, but not too much. You don't want to go too deep. Because you don't want the hot water or whatever's in it to do it. Now, um, I wouldn't necessarily use this as a tea bag holder. I do, although I do enjoy a you know, good cup of tea. I'm a big fan of uh, Earl Grey and Lady Grey. Um, but you can also use it as like a cup holder. Like a little a cup companion, a mug companion. And then anything about a mug companion, it's like somebody just sits there and watches you drink. Kind of like being a bar, but a lot cheaper because you're at home. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I want to make sure that there's a hook. So you measure it to the glass. Now remember, it's not going to necessarily stay here because it's the clay that's making it hang. So you want to go like, make sure it comes out because we're not baking it on like this. Or if we are, we're going to be able to pop it off. Just make sure. Now, adipose didn't. Re I didn't see any fingers or toes on the adipose. Let's redo that. Let me just have it sit like that. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let me get the arms in. Let me make sure. Oh my goodness, a little fat thing. Okay. There you go. Look at that. Not too far in. I know you might stay on. We're gonna touch it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this move a little bit in so it doesn't look quite so crazy, and then we're gonna add the face because this is where the lip of the cup is. You know, I might actually just make this for myself. I think I'm going to keep it. I want to, you know, I don't like to sell something unless I have used it before. Hey, Paul, look, it's not a post. Put some eyes in it. Uh oh, he's not standing up. Make sure he can stand up. Okay, let me make sure. It looks like he's a little bit. Kind of big on the hands. Don't look too goofy. Okay, I'm gonna move. Make sure that it matches. You know, kind of. Now I'm going to have to make sure I have enough clay for tomorrow. I need white. I need like a greenish color. I'm excited for tomorrow's cup. I did a, a themed cup like it for a customer. It came out really well. Not 100%, but, you know, we're on, oh, we are our worst critics. Okay. So it should stay like that. I hope. Um, you know, you could always tweak it a bit. You can add like felt pads to it if you feel like you might scratch the cup, which it shouldn't. Okay, so let's do the face. And a fiber thing. Get ready. Get the eyes. Right there. 
You make this into a ghost. So if you want like a Halloween themed one, yeah, do it. Oh, it's bad. So many. Here we go. I haven't done Dragon Eye in a while. I mean, I did this one. I like how that looks. Okay, about the same. Okay. Now they have a smile on them. Um, I have seen one that had um, like a toothy smile. It looks very much like a ghost. The eyes are a little too close. It's okay, we're putting the other one on too. I'm going to add a smile to it. I have a feeling that um, they're not. It needs to be a little bit more square. It's not the best out of post. It's cute. Mm, goofy. Okay. Now we're going to do... I am going to do the, the 3D glasses. I'm totally cheating at the eyes. Yeah. Red. And oh, some of this stuff off. Okay. And the blue. And then we're going to have to build the frames. I don't think I have anything that is has a you know, square look to it. It'd be awesome if I did. I make that. I probably should look up, see what eye does what color. Oh, it's specific to the eye. Now the thing is. I'm weird with the color red with my eyes. I don't I don't know what it is. But if I see like red and another color together, then my eyes will be all like wonky and I'll see more red. Like the red always pops out to me. Uh, let me do 3D glasses. Red, blue. There we go. Okay, so it looks like it is the right eye that is red. Right is red. Okay. Good. Man, this smushing stuff. Stop smushing. Okay. So we're gonna take a little bit of this. Maybe some three D glasses. Let's push it out. These are way too thick. And I still have red on my fingers. Okay, make sure. There we go. Okay, class. A little bit more red. And that was going to make everything turn pink. I'm going to make sure my hands are clean if I touch the white. I'm going to turn on a little bit of a problem. I'm going to shake it, probably just take it off with a piece of clay. There we go. My husband is watching Deep Space Nine. And he's probably already eating tacos. I'm so jealous. There we go. OK. 
Okay. Ready? Uh, okay, it's not going to work. Let me do. That's better. Oh, good. So we want to take. What's this tool? Oh. I have tools in here that I don't even know I had. I am looking for a smoother. This is not, I don't know what this is for. I use this smoother tool. I think I have. Oh no, he's watching Voyager. That sounds like Janeway. And that sounds like um, Vulcan. I can't remember his name. He's watching Voyager. I'm going to be mad. Because I haven't seen all of Voyager. Make sure they're adding some separation for the arm. I was thinking stare at you creepily. You know, I could probably do a clown. Make it even creepier. Sure, that we're having a little. There we go. Okay, so the idea is you have this guy, I'm like, oh, I would like to have a cup of tea. I'm like, but my tea bag keeps falling in the water. So, what do you do? You hook this guy onto it, and then you can wrap it around the legs, you know, um, but he'll hold your tea bag or he'll just sit there. And that is it. One little adipose hanging on the cup. This is durable. I'm, trying, I'm thinking I might actually bake it with the cup so I can just pop it off like that. I'm also wondering if these might be a little too thin. You know, oh, there's, there's a whole bunch of things that you can do with this. I just thought the adipose was cute. It's supposed to be an adipose. Whether or not it actually looks like one, this is what I think. You know what? I'm looking at adipose though. Because now I want to know if I'm making adipose correctly. Adipose. Doctor. Ooh, there we go. Ready for Google. They are. They're kind of like this. They might actually. This might actually be too skinny. Oh, they do have fingers. Oh, man. They have fingers. Let's fix that. Look at that. Fingers. Separate a little bit. And then squish it. Look at that. Ah. He's like, ah. <laughs> so I'll have a scrolling zoom. There we go. Look at him. No adipose. You know, we can go even crazier. We can put a fez on top. Adipose holds my tea bags. And my phone is vibrating because it's crazy. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not a terrible. You know, I mean, it's, it looks more like an odd bod than an adipose. I mean, odd bod is a really cool um, show that has no talking. I mean, they make noises like they grunt. You know, whatever the case may be, but there is no talking in the show. Um, it's all about body language and like your face and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so it's just like your, your face and everything like that. My son watches it and it's, it's a pretty, pretty cool, you know, cause having to effectively communicate with just your facial features and body language is, is so important. And I believe that it's like a lost art, you know, like the art of conversation. Can you keep a conversation that's more than 40 characters at a time or whatever Twitter's up to nowadays? You know, it's difficult. It's very difficult for some people to be able to do this. 
I think it's important. Like my son was telling me that he doesn't play with anybody at school and he doesn't want to be their friends and blah, 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 blah. And I say blah, 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 because he's telling a story. He's lying to me. I asked him, I asked the teacher today because I felt horrible. I'm like, oh my goodness, does my child have, you know, my issues with making friends and everything? She was like, no, he plays all the time. I'm like, oh, that's good. We think it might be because he wants to stay home. She's so trying to make us feel bad. Look at that. My little adipose. Let me make sure we get a good hook. Okay, so I'm going to cut out five minutes early because the smell of the tacos is driving me nuts. It's delicious. And I haven't, I think I ate today. But here it is. This is a nice little tea bag holder for a mug companion in the theme of Doctor Who. I get closer. There we go. In the theme of Doctor Who. Let me turn off this light. Maybe you can see the white a little bit better. There you go. And my little adipose is in the theme of David Tennant, my favorite doctor. It's going to sit right there. After he's baked, probably on Monday, I'm going to use my electric roaster. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when he's there. But that's it. Well, thank you very much for joining me tonight. I look forward to having you guys join me tomorrow um, for our Saturday Night Live event. M uh, clay on a mug. And this time, when you guys are watching, it's doing a, a Jack Skellington mug. I'm very, very, very excited about how this is going to turn out. So until tomorrow, thank you. Have a great rest of your weekend. And as always, look forward to creating with you.